What's going on my ninjas? So today I decided instead of going out and knocking out a couple of yards and a couple of shrub jobs and some mulch jobs, whatever we were able to get to that I had originally planned, I decided that <laughs> that we were gonna do this. So um, we took the tires off and we put them on the jack stands, but we just noticed that it's not high enough. So pizza's uh, back at lifting. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to cut that in half where it works the way I wanted to. Anyway, we'll figure it out here in a second. I just wanted to... <laughs> so guys, what we're doing today is obviously replacing that axle. That's the bad axle. It's the very last piece on this trailer that actually still is part of this trailer originally. Uh, I got the new axle and I figured today is somewhat of a nicer day than yesterday. And I said, let's... Pizza, let's just do this. So uh, it, it really just needs to be done. So... I've never replaced an axle, and neither has pizza, but from the looks of it, it seems pretty simple, pretty easy. The only thing that are holding it is the U-bolts, and uh, the biggest fear that we're both having is with the new one aligning it right, you know, the, the same, you know, length that uh, this one is, so that way <laughs> you don't have one wheel sticking out on one side further what than I'm the other. Do is I'm going to measure... Something. We need to measure before we even take this off. I'll measure something. <laughs> he said, you'll measure something. Yeah. Alright, so we got the u-bolts off of this one and we went ahead and measured from here to here but we just discovered something really was not necessary to measure why is that piece this angle iron right here uh -huh. is actually attached to this axle and i double checked on the other one it's the same thing and the axle sits on this little nipple right here you and your nipples piece and my nipples. All right. right here on this little nipple. well that makes life a lot easier a lot of you guys might have already known that but like i said earlier we've never done this so it's a new one for us and so we're learning as we're going. For those of you who are messing with old rusty bolts and old rusty nuts like exhaust or trailers, PB Blaster is literally the best penetrating lube you're going to get. Pick it up. Let me, let me show them. What are you talking about, Peace? PB Blaster. Wow. This, this stuff works wonders, doesn't it? I seen a guy demonstrate this when I was in school for automotive, and he sprayed it on a light socket, put a light in it, and dipped it under water, and it, the light kept working. It never shorted out. Now, Peace, you got to tell them we're not getting paid by that company. No, no, we're definitely, I'm not getting paid by PB Blaster. And neither am I. Neither is he. I'm just... This is what we over bought. Over the years of having to work on cars and stuff, this stuff has saved our lives many a times. So, many a times. good stuff. Tell them about that one U-bolt. Uh, oh, yeah, it, I, that, I didn't think it was going to come off. No, no, one didn't almost come off. It was oh, starting to... the other one was loose. The I, other one was loose. Yeah, I put the impact on it, and it spun it halfway off before it actually started impacting. Wow. But it's all about checking those nipples, right? I always got to check your nipples, man. Always you got your nipples to get out of place, and then it just causes problems. Right, right. right. Now we're con we don't think this will oh, actually, no, yeah, go through in here to get it out. So I told Pizza, he's like, well, let's just take this off. I'm like, I don't want to do that off the new one. I, I could care less about this one. But I told him it'd be easier just to do that. Yeah, just to we'll drop this, swing it down, and yeah. then we can pull it back up. Right. All right. And there's the old one. It is out. There you go. Old plate, out. All the U-bolt, out. New plate, on. U-bolts, on. You know what I just caught you do? Stick my tongue out? You stuck your tongue out. You do the same thing my wife does when she's I concentrating. Do I do it all the time. And trying to do something. Kid. I make fun of her all the time. Like, why do you stick your tongue out? She's like, leave me alone. It helps. I've done it since <laughs> I was a kid. I wouldn't say it helps. I'm just saying it's something I do. I know. She said it helps me concentrate. It goes easier. And there you have it, ninjas. It's a wrap. That was not bad at all. What we both thought that it would. Uh, 
mainly just because we've never done it so we didn't know really what to expect but uh it is replaced tires are back on i'm guessing pizza put the old one where the new one was and uh we're ready to roll it's early enough in the day i think we're gonna go ahead and load up the mowers and uh go knock out a few yards Are you really trying to push the turfy with the walkie? Yeah. I do it from time to time as long as the tires don't spin. We'll walk on it. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to wear your tires out. Like somebody did. I'm not going to call any names here. But you know who you are. Oh. Follow me for man. You ever feel like you're being followed by somebody? It's like right behind you. So here we are guys. We are back at the, the dealership where we were once before. Just figured we'd stop and see what they got. We were passing by the area and uh, Pizza said he wants to uh, get that doctor do a little mower. <laughs> oh yeah? The red would go good with that silver truck, huh? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Where are the Super Z's, the Hustlers? Are they inside? Yeah, they're inside. Okay. Yeah, they're not too Not too bad, how are you? So uh, guys, the dealer here is gonna go ahead and let us demo this right stander. And uh, I'm so excited. pizza's all. I'm gonna love this since I've seen it, <laughs> So we'll see, I kinda like the similar color of a Hustler, yellowish, so. I'm all about that stand on life. Stand on life. Pizza, you need this trash can for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're selling it now for $92.90. It's got two cup holders, man. Hey, I'm going to ask him what he'd give me for a Skag Turfy. It's got 6.4 hours on this. That's nothing. Guys, I don't know if you can see this or not. It's a really steep hill. Peace, what do you think about this? 
Look at the hill that it just Pretty, took. Yeah, it, it didn't care. It did not care about this hill, guys. I mean, you could tell it's it's a drop. I mean, look, we're where we're standing right now. We're as tall as that building. Right. So that this is a drop, guys, and this thing just schooled it. <laughs> yeah, didn't care. <laughs> Um, I'm starting to really like these rights. I've, I've never really been around one. Don't know much about it, but, uh, uh, they've got a, uh, fleet pricing. Even if you just get one right now, uh, like 92.90 for this particular one, but he said he could probably do about eight to 85. Why don't you try it on this hill piece one last time and then let's park it. Hey, hey, hey. Did you get the demo stuck? No. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be fully uh, demoed if you didn't get it stuck. I know, right? <laughs> no, I was a little burn McGrath stick enough. <laughs> Look at these little rinky dinky mowers. Now, these are some rinky dinky mowers. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, my lawn care ninjas, it's a wrap for today. We're getting ready to head back to the house and, uh, you know, uh, plan for tomorrow. But what'd you guys think of that, huh? Pizza getting the freaking, it wouldn't be a true demo without pizza getting something stuck. Yep. I mean, this man will get a horse stuck. At least it wasn't in a ditch. Or the mud. It's funny, but there's a little berm of dirt sticking up that hit the deck. But right, besides that, what'd you think of the right standard, Pete? I like it. The fact it held that hill was mind-boggling. Yes, that's insane. I agree on that. It's quick. I think they said somewhere around nine, ten miles an hour. It's it's fast. It's fast. You you guys, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. In the video but when you when you full throttle it and go it, it moves uh they told me what they would give me on the turfy they said they'd give me about ten thousand, and so that's something i was actually thinking in my own mind that's where it should be um of course they'd have to confirm this with the owner he wasn't here today which i'm actually good friends with the owner so that's pretty cool uh, i know him and um so ten thousand, and then uh, they did tell me uh, five thousand for the to walk behind. So that's fifteen thousand uh, dollars. That I would have to play 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 with, I guess. And pizza's really liking that standard just because it comes with a trash can. <laughs> but <laughs> that's your kind of mower right if you if i end up some reason owning that and you still run over stuff <laughs> a hustler super z they didn't have any uh right now because you know it's cold guys slow season but uh they'll have some and i really would like to test drive one of those he also so. said he it looks like the the super z's with the hyperdrive are all going to vanguard engines really yeah that's what yeah that's said. what he was talking about right the all, all the super z's are going to go to vanguard engines yeah the hyperdrive ones the hyperdrive ones i believe yeah i hope that's not the case the grasshoppers man they got the whole deck up front that's lifts lifts up kind of like a walker mower the high lift <coughs> discharge thing in the back where you can mulch leaves and it sucks them up and then it'll high lift into whatever you want to put them in yeah so i don't know uh, that was pretty cool but guys i just wanted to show you a little bit what we got into like i said we were passing by so we stopped thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys and i hope you enjoyed today's video a little bit of the whole axle situation with the trailer a little i got i think i got one yard i was able to record uh, of us mowing and pizza nice put, stripes pizza put in and actually striping and
And um, it's crazy that it is January and that yard still stripes beautifully. You know why? Because the ninjas do it. So, and then of course I was able to record a little bit here. My battery is about to die. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Whoa.